it's good to reduce, re reuse, and recycle. Getting ready for the camping trip, we had to take stuff off the boat and walk it to Pete's shop. Um, usually I have a rolly cart that I pull with me because parking around St. Augustine is very hard, so we do a lot of walking. Um, we like to walk anyway and get a little bit of exercise. Uh, so as we were walking around, I saw a bunch of buckets that were in the garbage, which is great because we need buckets for mixing paint in. Now, another thing that I had seen when we were walking was a bunch of plastic jugs for laundry detergent in the recycle bin. It's good that they're recycling their laundry detergent plastic jugs. That's awesome. I'm really glad about that. But I was thinking maybe as a society, we could maybe take it a step further. And instead of having to recycle these plastic jugs, wouldn't it be really nice if the grocery stores had dispensaries for these? So what you could do is, just like milk jugs in the old days, where you would have your milk jug and the mailman or the man would come and fill up your milk jug, but instead of it being milk, have it be your laundry detergent. And that could be one step we could take to reducing all those plastic jugs, as if the laundry detergent companies would make a huge dispensary at the grocery store, fill up this dispensary, and then when people would come to the grocery store, they'd fill up their jugs, and they'd have different si various sizes, different prices for each liter of quart, and you'd fill up your jug with this laundry detergent, and pay for it that way. Maybe even in a way, because you have your own jug, it would save you 10 cents a, a liter or a quart. And people might actually want to just save their laundry detergent jug, bring it to the grocery store and fill it up. And that would be a great way to reduce plastic. And that would be one small step to, to working our way to reducing, reusing, and recycling. Now the last thing you want to do is recycle, but you can reduce the plastic by having a dispensary, and then you can reuse your plastic jug, and then if you need to, you can always recycle your plastic. But I just want to keep that in mind, you know, I think that would be a great idea, and I hope that somebody, and somebody in a big company, somebody who actually sees this and takes this idea, I want this idea to be taken. So I hope somebody sees this and actually puts this into use. I think it would be really great. Um, if any of you guys have any ideas to actually have this be started, that would be excellent. I don't care who starts it. I want it to be started, and I think it would be a great idea. Um, so it's up to us. Hey, everyone. So this weekend, we went camping at a festival called Farm to Family. Uh, it's great. It's really fun. A lot of music. Uh, music all morning, all night. Uh, you can kind of sit around and play with a bunch of folks that play music as well. Good for the kids. They can run around and um, kind of enjoy themselves camping and infuse them with some really nice music too. I think it's really good for them. kind of late yesterday so we had to hurry up and pop up the tent. <laughs> what you doing, B? Washing a few dishes. Huh? 
drinking some coffee. That is going to be our stove for the bus. That's going to be the whole hookup right there. We're going to have it where it'll be on kind of the outside of the door. And then when we open up the slider, we can the stove will pop up and we can cook or it can we can cook inside still. But it'd be cool if we could cook outside like if it's hot. Man, I wish the bus was ready for this event, but everywhere you walk there's music. cool event. After camping this weekend, I'm really excited to get the bus done. This is, uh, it'd be so cool to have it underneath some trees or on a beach with a surfboard, underneath some trees with a hammock. Got the new lights in. We even got turn signals. Can't wait for the bus to actually be parked for the festival. That would be. What you doing, Pete? Well, you have to excite the generator to make it charge. So I'm exciting the generator. A little bit of inspiration, a little light bulb. Turn on the key. There goes your light. Okay. This is just like a key. I gotta wire all this up to the key. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what's crazy about these? How they can be like, you know, half. It doesn't have the. It's not like a closed system like a diesel. You can have air in it. Now what I might do is take all this and run it to a real nice fuse box right here. Yeah. You know, take a fuse box, run everything to that. And then once I figure out which wires go up forward, I'll run them to the opposite side of the fuse box. Okay. Okay, go. Well, that's good, because then they go off when I try to start it, so it's not killing the battery. Yeah. You guys have a good weekend, and I'll see you again next week.